stop battle. All right. Richter. All right, so we see Ganondorf coming out for Windrunner. This matchup might be a little bit tough for him because uh, Richter has so many projectiles as we mentioned before. It's kind of hard to close the gap there, but uh, Ganon, yeah, might have a hard time here, but we'll see if uh, Windrunner is able to do it. So you see a lot of pressure coming out from the Richter so far, uh, like we're used to seeing. And uh, I think if Windrunner is able to close this gap though and able to find an opening, he's going to be able to um, make a pretty big impact. Just because uh, Ganon does so much damage, you only need a couple hits to really um, to really kill them. You do a ton of damage with just three hit combos, so if he's able to find that combo with close lead. The way I see it, honestly, I say it all the time, is that uh, Heavy's, their stocks don't even start until they're like at 160. Unless they just die. So, uh, that's going to be the first stock coming out for Yuri, able to find that kill there. He's throwing out these pretty good forward airs, making sure to space away from again and not. He's not letting Windrunner even close to him. He's playing really smart, making sure to space back and throw out these aerials. And he has a lot of range, and he knows that if Ganon gets in there, then he's going to be taking a lot of damage. So, he's playing super smart. Using his tilts and his uh, projectiles to make sure that he can't get in there. And uh, Windrunner finds it down there, not able to connect into anything. Up. Very good from Yuri being able to throw out the cross into the axe combo. So they're hit on the both of those. That's going to be a lot of damage. 147%. This is like around 12% for Ganon in terms of uh, that axe, I think, still won't kill, but a forward smash will definitely kill. A, a nice down tilt into fort with the up air will kill. And this is where Genin wants to do here. He gets the down there. That's going to be a huge kill for Windrunner. And he's going to have to get as much extra credit here as he can. Gets, barely gets hit by the axe. And that's going to be the stack. So now we're up. And that's Yuri up 2-1 to one in the stocks right now. And Windrunner's going to have to find some pretty good openings here. Maybe might have to look for some cheese to be able to bring it back here. Looking for something like another down air kill, but at lower percent, or uh, just a nice hard, uh, nice forward smash. He needs to he needs to just get Yuri off stage, so then he can create situations where he has to make Yuri choose how to recover. And I think that's where Danny can punish really hard. So right there, if he was able to wait and kind of read where Yuri was going to go, he might have been able to get something there. And this looks really brutal for Danny Dorf. It's really hard, slow characters to really get in when there's so many projectiles being spammed at you. You don't have a lot of movement options to get out, and very good force smash coming off from Yuri. He's able to close out that game. He's going to go up 1-0 in the set. And we're going to see if Windrunner decides to pick a different character. Um, if he doesn't, then he needs to try to find some openings. I think he he might be... I feel like a lot of players do this. They play very scared against characters that have a lot of projectiles, like Olimar, like, like Link, like Richter. You know, people have a hard time figuring out how to get through these projectiles. Snake is another good example. I think uh, he might have to try just like a really brute force type of strategy where he just tries really hard to get in instead of allow instead of looking for a, like a great situation to get in you try to brute force your way in uh, we'll see what they decide to go for here though but I think the wind is going to want a smaller stage here maybe be Pokemon Stadium too yeah that's kind of more what I would be thinking it's a nice small stage allows him to close the gap quicker Smashville another pretty decent size it's a medium-sized stage, doesn't give Yuri too much space to throw out projectiles, but also uh, allows for some platforms for Windrunner to be able to navigate uh, on and kind of get through. So we're going to get, he's going to run the Ganondorf again to see if he can take this match. They're going to be loading to this game very soon. And we see, as you can see, the stage being much smaller allows Windrunner to approach a lot easier already at 51 percent on the way another thing about a smaller stage is the projectiles cover more of the stage space as you can see in the corner here windrunner has a hard time getting past these these projectiles and just basically getting uh, pinballed in between all these projectiles 
If he doesn't get hit with the axe, he gets hit with the cross. If he doesn't hit with the cross, he gets hit with the tilt or the smash attacks. And Yuri doing a really good job here at making sure to combo all his uh, projectiles and his work together. Able to get the tipper on that, and that's going to be that stock. He's going to be up not too much, and considering that you're basically in 12% against Ganondorf at 75%, Ganondorf gets a nice uh, forward smash. He's going to be able to uh, take that stock. It's a side B, not able to combo that into anything. He was looking for a tech read there, and wasn't able to find one though. Gets the down B uh, to put him on this on the ledge. Gets a nice forward air. It's going to not be able to find anything. Gets a down B though to finish that stock off. 68% deficit is not too bad as a heavy. And he's going to look to get a couple combos and close that gap. Gets a dash attack and looking for the nair into that. So that's going to close the gap quite a bit. We're at 92%. Now that axe is going to land though, creating another edge guard situation. Yuri's doing a really good job of making sure when runner can't get back on the stage. The thing about those axes is that it knocks them up. So when you do hit them off stage like that, you're kind of helping them recover if they're not at kill percent. Almost gets hit by that one and barely doesn't make it back on to the ledge. And this is going to be down to Windrunner to look for something here. He's him losing here is not too bad just because this matchup is already pretty poor. So stage, although it matters because Yuri wants the space, he wants a lot of stage control. Uh, Windrunner is still in it. He could pull out maybe his pocket character in this last game if he really needs to. See so that. A lot of projectiles being thrown out here. Hard for Yuri to really get in. Gets the air dodge out. <clears throat> that's a dash attack into up air. Okay, that's going to be nice edge guard situation. Looks for the down air, not able to get that, but he's able to pick up that stock. And Yuri's up here, not able to get him to the ledge. Maybe should have went for the chain, but I think that's why Windrunner ran out there, was in case the chain came out. He would be able to interject it, and uh, he's going to fall there. Not able to make it back on the stage. That's going to be a 2-0 two, for Yuri. Now we're going to game 3. We're going to see if we see Windrunner. He looks like he's thinking of another character to play. Maybe he's thinking about the stage that he might want to go. Wouldn't be surprised if Yuri's been banning uh, the smaller stages like Pokemon and... Uh... Okay, so they actually end up going Pokemon. Going a smaller stage here, this is probably the best case scenario for Windrunner to be able to get something going. It's going again and again, so it looks like they're committing to the characters that they've been playing. And they're not going to change up too much. Uh, just stage Pokemon Stadium 2 now. It's going to be the last game, potentially the last game for Windrunner here. He has to pull something out here to make sure that he can stay alive in this bracket. See a good start just from last like last game. Good start from gets that early gimp. He really needed that. Really hard good pressure in the beginning of the game. But up there and running, he ran off stage. Was able to scare Yuri in his um, recovery. And Yuri wasn't able to get back on stage. So that's gonna be a really important skill here. That's exactly what one runner needs to get back into this set too. He needs to take this game, he needs to take it uh, one stock at a time. And uh, Yuri getting some good pressure there with these projectiles. He's able to get the fire and chain it into the... Going out some more axes. He's not able to land any of those, but gets the fire into the forward tilt. Goes out some more axes. He's probably looking for the fire into the forward tilt to be able to close the stock off, or um, some offstage axes to kind of position Ganon into a spot that he can up air him. So that was another axe. Very good. Calls out the Ganondorf recovery. <clears throat> and I think what Windrunner also needs to do is he needs to drift back and down so then he can sweet spot the ledge. Nice down air. Able to not. He doesn't hit the sweet spot on the spike. He doesn't spike him down. Spikes him out. Or sends him out. So he's able to pick up that kill there. Usually just bike down on the stage and got to follow up with something but uh, got that pretty good hitbox through that scenario he's up a stock now oh he air dodged just off the stage that's unfortunate you don't like to see that but we're down to the last stock situation for when he has to close it out here if he wants to uh, continue on in the tournament gets the down air there into up air not able to hit the up air though goes for the down b and clashes with the cross 
and you're doing a good job of keeping the pressure up. But Windrunner able to finally find some of these openings. You can see he's doing much better than the last game. He's able to really pressure Yuri a lot more with these uh, strong hits. The down B's helping him get in a lot. The dash attack and down B are really important. It seems like he's been uh, using those a lot to approach. Because it's, uh, I think those two abilities will clash with a lot of the projectiles that he's throwing out. So he keeps using those to ensure that he doesn't just get knocked back by projectiles. And this is a very close game here. 130 to 111. Any next hit here will most likely end the game. The next strong hit for both. Looking for the axe, able to hit that. That's going to go up in the air. That's going to be the set. That's a 3 0 for Yuri. He's going to move on into Grand Final. And we're moving on to the third place match first, I believe, and then we'll do Grand Finals.